The couple held each other's hands nervously as they walked into the hospital nursery. The nurse pointed out their baby, and the woman screamed. No, 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 this can't be. Oh God, she looks like a monkey's butt. I'm gonna be sick. Can somebody adopt her, please? Ma'am, that's not your child. This one is. The woman instantly stopped crying and picked up the baby, and the couple stared at her in delight. Ooh, of course this one's mine. She's beautiful. And that beautiful baby was me. Hi, I'm Jessie from LA. Please like and subscribe. I was born to parents who'd been pageant kids and teen models, and the first life lesson I learned was that it's really important to be beautiful. Ugh, our baby has such gorgeous hair. Did you see the poor neighbor's kid? I bet she's got pigeons living in that nest on her head. And her brother? Ew, that kid has so many freckles. We should keep Jesse away from him. What if he's contagious? Growing up, I'd always have people telling me how pretty I was, and nothing seemed to make my parents happier. When I was in sixth grade, mom decided we'd pay her family in Italy a visit. I can't wait to finally show Jessie to my stupid sister. She'll be so jealous when she sees her olive skin and her beautiful hair. But when I got there and I met my cousins, I saw they all had skin and hair like mine. Still, mom shoved me in aunt's face and said, look how pretty my daughter is. Of course, we know where she gets that from. Yeah, she's all right. But luckily, her face can be improved with makeup. Mom was furious. She picked up her plate of pasta and rubbed it in aunt's face. That just improved yours, and my baby doesn't need any makeup. But the minute we landed home, mom's first stop was to buy me makeup. I refused to wear it to school, but in eighth grade, my parents enrolled me in the family business, beauty pageants, and there was no stopping mom there. Mom, I don't need all this makeup. Don't be an idiot, everyone needs it. If we need it, I guess it means we're not that pretty after all. If being annoying could win us a pageant, you'd definitely come in first place. I don't even wanna be here. As mom stormed off, suddenly someone spoke. Do you really hate it? I turned to see a beautiful model who actually looked like she belonged here. I really do, it's just not my thing. Well, try to have fun, I think you could win. She winked at me and left. She seemed really nice, but I never saw her again because it was my last ever pageant. I was walking over to the host when I tripped, crashed straight into her, and knocked her right off the stage. Needless to say, I lost. My parents tried to force me into modeling next, but I just didn't get it. Can you bow a little, but not like a goldfish? And look bored, but like you're having fun? And can you smile, but only with your eyes? Oh my god, this girl is a moron. After getting fired from a dozen modeling jobs, I thought my parents would finally leave me alone. But I was so wrong. The night before I started high school, they sat me down for an important conversation. Jesse, since we're getting older, we're not doing much modeling anymore, and we're running out of money. And since you're the world's worst model, you've left us with no other choice. What are you talking about? We have a plan. I recently made a friend at the gym, and he's filthy rich. His son John is going to be at your school. He has a girlfriend, but uh, you can get rid of her. You'll look pretty, get the guy, marry him right out of school, and he'll support all of us. What? So, I don't get to go to college? Oh, honey, I don't think you're smart enough. But also, we just don't have the money. If you want to go, this is what you have to do. I just knew there was no point arguing. So, the next morning, I walked downstairs in my prettiest dress and bright red lipstick. But when I got to school, I wiped it off and changed into jeans. I'd study hard and get a scholarship for college. I wasn't following my parents' awful plan. I spotted John pretty quickly, though. He was a grade older than me and really into basketball. And his cheerleader girlfriend, who I called Clownface because she wore too much makeup. But soon enough, my parents were nagging me about my progress and I had to get a selfie with him. I kept trying to catch him alone, but Clownface never left his side. So one day, I just followed him into the boys' bathroom. Whoa, what are you doing here? Oops, is this the boys' bathroom? <laughs> I can be dumb sometimes, but can I just say, I'm such a big fan of your game. Could I have a selfie with you? He agreed, and my mission was accomplished. But as we stepped out of the bathroom together, someone pulled me by my hair. What were you doing in there with my boyfriend, witch? 
Ow, nothing. Get off me, clown face. What did you just call me? She pounced on me and pinned me to the ground. I pushed her off and she was about to attack again when suddenly a girl stepped in. Hey, leave the new kid alone. If you think my idiot brother is cheating on you, why don't you kick his butt? Eat glass, Kate. John led angry clown face away and the girl helped me up. She was beautiful and not wearing a touch of makeup. She looked kind of familiar too. I could have handled that, but thank you. You're John's sister? Yeah, I'm Kate. Wait, have we met somewhere before? And that's when it hit me. She was that model. Did you do pageants a few years ago? Oh, yes. I remember you now. Gosh, we were pageant girls. How embarrassing. After that day, we started hanging out together all the time. Kate was struggling with math, so I went over to her house one day to tutor her, and she seemed to catch on really quickly. Wow, Jesse, you're really good at this. Yeah, I actually love math but tell that to my parents and they'd laugh. They just think I'm a pretty face. Well, you are pretty, but not just that. Why was I blushing? Just then, Kate jumped up and switched on some music. No way, that's my favorite band. Dance with me then. She pulled my arm to help me up and the next thing I knew, we were dancing together. We twirled and giggled and it was the most fun I had ever had. And then suddenly, she leaned in and kissed me. Whoa, oh, I thought there was a vibe. No, I just, I didn't expect that. I'm sorry, I, I thought we were on the same page. She started moving away, but I took her hand. And then I said the dumbest thing ever. My parents expect me to marry a boy, a rich boy. Well, your parents aren't here, are they? I pulled her closer till her face was inches from mine. I think you're really beautiful. I'm really good at math too. I lied. I grinned and then I kissed her. Kate and I started dating and it was amazing. We kept a low profile in school, but we met afterwards every day. One night I got in really late and as I sneaked in, I found my parents waiting for me in the lounge. We know what's going on, Jesse. <laughs> what are you talking about? You come home late every day. You're texting all the time. I know you're dating my friend's kid. We're so proud of you, honey. Oh, yeah, of course, your friend's kid. That's who I'm dating. It's going great. Honey, you have to tell me how you got rid of John's girlfriend. Oh, she was just so much uglier than me. She didn't stand a chance. That's my girl. You can have whatever you want for dessert. I was just having the time of my life. But it was all starting to get so complicated soon. A few days later when I got home, my parents told me that we were going out for dinner to John and Kate's house. Oh my God, no. I frantically called Kate, but she just wouldn't pick up her phone. I left her a text saying, coming over with my parents. They think John is my boyfriend. I'm so sorry. I hoped she'd see it before I got there. Her parents welcomed us warmly. And just as I stepped inside, John walked into the hall and I ran to him and hugged him. Please act like my boyfriend. I'll explain everything. Uh, babe, hi, I missed you. Even though we met in school, if few hours ago. Oh, young love, so precious. The parents smiled at us and walked off and I pushed John away. What was that? So here's the thing, I'm gay and I haven't told my parents yet and they think I'm dating you. It's just something I said to make them happy. I'm gonna tell them the truth soon, but please play along tonight. Ugh, fine, but I love my girlfriend, so don't fall for me or anything. I just told you I'm gay, you moron. Kate walked in just as we were sitting down for dinner and she winked at me so I knew she'd read my text. Whew. But as I acted lovey-dovey with John, I could tell it was bothering her. And when he and I snuggled close to each other on the couch after dinner, she looked mad. After a few minutes, she just stormed off. Didn't she know it was just an act? She wouldn't even reply to my text later that night. Ugh, oh, I just had to go see her then. I sneaked back to her house and found her window open so I quietly climbed in. But the second I landed, I bumped into someone who let out a horrible scream. Ah! Someone switched on a light and I saw freaking clown face and John glaring at me. Oh my God, I can explain. What are you doing in my boyfriend's room, you witch? I told you not to fall for me, Jesse. What? Just then the door burst open and Kate walked in. I heard a scream. Jesse, why are you in John's room? My question exactly. Everybody shut up!
I'm in love with Kate. I'm here for her. I got the wrong window. Everyone looked shocked, and I just took Kate's hand and led her to her room. Why haven't you been replying to me? I don't know, Jesse. I know you were acting, but when I saw you with John, I just got jealous. That's what your parents want, right? They want you to date a boy. What if you want that too? I really don't want your brother. And I think I just said I'm in love with you for the first time. In front of those idiots, Kate's face lit up. Yeah, you did say that. I am in love with you too, Jesse. And we kissed, and it was a perfect moment. My parents were all praises for John after that dinner, and they were already dreaming about my wedding and how he'd take care of us. I had to end this act and tell them the truth. And an opportunity turned up soon. John's parents had invited us all to his big basketball game, and Kate and I decided to tell everyone afterwards, as my parents wished John luck before the game. Suddenly, Clownface came over and pushed them aside. Good luck, my little smooch monster. Break your legs. And she kissed him smack on the lips. My parents nearly <sighs> fainted. Jesse, do something. I thought you got rid of her. Rid of me? As if. I'm marrying John one day, and we're having so many babies together. As the two walked off, Mom turned to me, horrified. You broke up? How could you let him go? Mom, we were never dating. Never dating? But we saw you two together. Who have you been dating then? That would be me. Kate stepped forward and took my hand. I wish I could have made it less shocking for my parents, but this was happening now. Mom, Dad, Kate's my girlfriend. You, you're dating a girl? I did not spend my whole life making you presentable so you could date a girl. This is humiliating. How will you go to college now, huh? If you stopped treating me like a dumb Barbie doll, you'd know I'm smart enough to get a scholarship. We'll talk about this at home. There's nothing to talk about. And to make my point, I kissed Kate. Mom got so mad, she walked out of there. I was waiting for Dad to scream next, but he leaned in and whispered, Jesse, I'm okay with this. She's gotta be as rich as John, right? Of course, Kate was loaded. I didn't care, but it was good enough for Dad. And he eventually convinced my mom that having a rich daughter was more important than having a straight one. 